The flat earth model is based on an azimuthal equidistant projection map centered on the North Pole. With the sun and the moon orbiting at about 5000 km altitude. One claim stated repeatedly by the proponents of this model is of course. I cannot see the curve, so the world is flat. This is actually so blindingly stupid we will have to take this step by step. I can see how you can make this mistake. However, claiming to have done my research and not being able to think in three dimensions and falling down this pit of ignorance is just incredible. Now, imagine you are standing in a boat mid-ocean, looking out across the water towards the horizon. Not accounting for refraction you will see around 4.7 kilometers, or 2.9 miles, the numbers are not important here. You then look to your right, where you might expect to see the earth is curving slightly downward. But wait, the distance you're now looking at is 6.5 kilometers, 4 miles away. You see, your horizon is not a straight line perpendicular to your line of sight. Your horizon is a circle around you 4.7 kilometers away from you, and all the ocean have fallen away by equal amount. Let's just draw this on a globe for clarity. As you turn around your horizon describes a circle around you, and the same amount of curve have affected your line of sight in all directions. As our viewpoint gets lower, we can see that the line is straightening, because all along your horizon the ocean is at the exact same level. Looking at the horizon line from the perspective of the viewer, the horizon is completely flat. The height from your eyes down to the horizon is the same in all directions, and that is why you will not see curvature. Only from a very high vantage point will you see the curvature of the horizon. And since the earth is very big the vantage point must be very high. You can however see the curvature in a straight lines going towards the horizon. Like a very long bridge or a very straight and long shoreline. You can also clearly see the curvature of the earth when objects are partially hidden. Like islands, towers and windmills or ships disappearing over the horizon. When you present clear photographic evidence of this type you tend to get the same reaction over and over again. It is shot with a fisheye lens. Space don't exist. Or, it is refraction. However back here in the real world of thinking rational people, we have this image of the curvature taken from the Galileo spacecraft in 1992. And this beautiful picture of the entire Earth taken from Galileo at an altitude of 1.5 million miles in 1990. This image was taken from the ISS in 2014, using a Nikon D3S with 80mm lens. And this one using the same camera and 85mm focal length. So, back to Earth. As I said, looking at a very long bridge stretching towards the horizon, like the longest one in the US, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, you can clearly see the curvature of the Earth. Can you see the curvature in this image of the Suez Canal? Or in this image? Or in this one, also showing an excellent mirage. Or in this one where we happen to have the actual distances to the ships. Curvature is impossible to see from left to right, except from a high vantage point. We can see curvature in lines going towards the horizon. Or when viewing objects partially hidden by curvature.